lost his shirt and now his congressional career. Here's News 4's Anthony Kanji with the latest on the dirty laundry that drove Chris Lee from Capitol Hill. Anthony. Well, Victoria, we're learning a lot more about this detailed story. Now, we've learned that 34-year-old Yisha Callahan was the recipient of the now infamous photo that forced Lee's resignation. But this apparently wasn't the first time that Lee's behavior was called into question. Flight 340. News 4 has learned former Congressman Chris Lee has fled to his father's home in Florida and that his wife has joined him there. Back in 2008, Lee was all smiles on election night when he won the seat that was held for 10 years by Tom Reynolds. With his family by his side, the Republican political newcomer ran a family values platform. Lee even talked about passing legislation to educate children on Internet safety. By now, the world has seen this photo, which went viral Wednesday causing the congressman to resign. Lee apparently sent the photo to a 34-year-old woman named Yisha Callahan on Craigslist. She told another internet site today that after a few messages were exchanged, she Googled his name and was shocked. Lee's campaign manager says the former congressman did make bad decisions, but stands by the fact that nothing Lee did was illegal. Chris Lee committed no crimes. Chris Lee is not, you know, Elliot Spitzer or one of those individuals. He's, you know, made some foolish decisions. Langworthy said he has spoken with the former congressman. He wouldn't go into detail about that conversation, but says he offered his support. This is someone that's had some failings in his marriage and his personal life. Politico.com is reporting that last year, House Speaker John Boehner warned several freshman lawmakers, including Lee, to stop partying with female lobbyists. There's people that, you know, enjoy nightlife and there's people that don't. And, you know, Chris, I think, was a guy that did enjoy nightlife. The woman on the other end of the pictures told the Washington Post that she stopped emailing Lee after he asked her to send a racy photo of herself and that she went forward with the story with encouragement from her family and friends. In the newsroom, Anthony Kanji, News 4 Wake Up.